Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Latino Plants. My name is Jackie. If this is your first time, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that bell to get notified every time I upload a video. Today, we're doing a shop with me at Home Depot and Lowe's. These first two carts that you see are in the entrance at my local Home Depot. These are the plants that they have. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the plants indoors. Love this display. They haven't done a whole lot with this display, but look at these beautiful aglionemas, you guys. I don't know what's up with me, but lately I've been looking at the aglionemas. They've been catching my eye. I don't know if maybe I'm ready to add some more of them to my collection but they are beautiful normally i don't like super colorful plants but these are definitely catching my eye and then they had this set up here with the hanging baskets some beautiful spider plants on here you guys so many different varieties some golden pothos in there some ferns they also had a maranta and this cactus monstrosa, I believe they flower or bloom. And then here they have these small wick and grow plants from Casa Farms. As you can see, looking a little sparse. I don't know if they're getting any more shipments at my stores or not for the fall slash winter season. Hopefully they do, but thought I'd show you what they have left over right now. And here they have this rack full of the Proven Winners Leaf Joy line collection. On the top, they had a couple philodendrons, some ficus, and then the water globes, and some of your 548 little pots or 598 little pots. They still had quite a few of the Hoyas. They had the Freckle Splash. These don't look too hot. And then two of the shelves were empty. So hopefully my store is about to stock up. Fingers crossed. Next time I go, they have more plants. They also had the Hoya Rosita and the Hoya Fitchii. And here I'm showing you all of the floor plants that they have. They have your beautiful... Monstera Deliciosa, some Yucas, Dracinias, Fiddly Figs. I didn't see any Peace Lilies. I guess they sold them all. Parlor Palms, and look at this Calla Lilies, you guys. Beautiful, speckling on the leaves. And then on this table, they have a variety of Peace Lilies. They have your ficus, your diffenbachias. That's another plant that's been catching my eye lately. They are labeled for $15.98, but I believe they are still on sale for $9.88 or $9.98, something like that. You'll see the sign soon. Some philodendron birkins and some more aglionemas. These look beautiful, you guys. And as you can see, these two are two different plants, but they do have the white stems. Some of your lemon meringues. And then I don't know what these plants on the bottom are called. They're super cute. They always bring them out around this season. I don't know if they're considered a wintry plant or what. Or maybe because of the colors. But I love the pink on them. The red. They also have a white version that you'll see soon. And these beautiful crotons on here. Your snow something waffle plant <laughs> some beautiful begonias and there goes the white one on the bottom that one pot had like a little bit of pink or red in its pot as well mixed in there down here they have some peace lilies some staghorn ferns i believe syngoniums i think these are dracinias some more Syngoniums and Dracinias. They also have some Sansevierias and Begonias. And then over here, they had a couple varieties of your Peperomia plants. Those are not super easy for me, so I stay away. 
And here they had some beautiful orchids, you guys, and so many beautiful colors. Only if I could keep them alive. I think I might give one a try again someday. I don't know when I'm ready. But look at the veining and the colors on these orchid blooms, you guys. That yellow one and this one here with the like purple splotches and pink and that mauvey pink one. They're just so beautiful. And then here on this table, they had some of your regular basic anthuriums. And I don't say that to insult the plant. They just always have them in the store. Here down below, they had some more Sansevierias, Dracenias, some Golden Pothos. And I think that's the purple waffle plant, if I'm not mistaken. And in the back, they only had like a piece lily. On the other side, they had a bunch of Croatians. I forgot to show you that side because there was a shopping cart in the way. But on this shelf here, they have a bunch of Hoyas. I believe this is just the Hoya pubicalyx, not the Splash. The Crimson Queen. Some Diffenbachias, Begonias. Some Adansonias. Some more Syngoniums and Peperomias. And then Sansevierias up here. A beautiful variety. This like star looking Sansevieria was beautiful. All of these succulents and cacti look so good, you guys. I was super tempted in picking up some of them because they're more easy plants and don't need watering so much. But look at those blue cacti in the bottom there's like five in that one pot you guys those like four little ones and one really large one it was so cute i almost grabbed that one and then here i don't know you guys the whale fin sansevieria is like growing on me <laughs> every time i see it i'm more intrigued by it maybe i'll add her in my into my collection one day and look at these euphorbias, you guys. They're like variegated. I don't know if it's like a yellow on green or green on green variegation, but super pretty for $19.98. Yeah. I would snag that up if you guys are used, you know, looking for euphorbias. Because you get quite a few in a pot. And then these were all on sale, all different prices. So we're not going to go over the prices and stuff, but. They had your aloes and your cactus and succulent arrangements all on sale, you guys. The really large succulents were on sale as well. Thought was a great deal. I don't know what there is cat grass, but something cat grass for $4.98. And then the larger succulents on the bottom there. So now we are headed to Lowe's, you guys. Again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. And click on that bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And Lowe's is all decked out, you guys, for Christmas. <laughs> it looks beautiful. I love the Christmas season. But we're here for the plants, so let's look at the plants, you guys. They had this table as I approached with a bunch of the bonsais, all different kinds, you guys. They also had this cute little anthurium. Now I've been seeing this anthurium pop up everywhere. They had this alocasia here. I'm not sure what the name of that one is. They had a poly as well. And this plant here. I know I said it's not an easy plant, but I want to correct myself. I had to learn how to take care of that plant. It was the first time I ever had one. I didn't kill it. And if I were to rate this or compare this to other plants, I would say that plant is like in between an aglionema and a peace lily. So you can't let it completely dry out. Or acts dramatic like a peace lily. And you can't water it too soon. Or it'll start yellowing leaves like an aglionema. Anyways, enough about that plant. 
Um, look at these Hoya Curtizias, you guys. They had a bunch of these baskets. I just had to pull one down and show you. Down here, they have some more Dracinias and Diffenbachias. Up on this shelf, they had some Wiccan Grows there. I believe they were all Ferns and Ivies. And then up top, they had a bunch of the Pothos Pearls and Jade and Curtizias. Here, I found Ohoya Crimson Princess. I wanted to pull her down just to show you her. She doesn't have a whole lot of variegation, but she looks super healthy. I don't know if that's a crimson princess or like a tricolor. But as I was doing that, look at this crow in you guys, Mona. My store got this one too, $12.98 for this Croton. And they also had it in the smaller variety here in the Wick and Grow. If you want to try it out, look, Mona, it comes in the smaller version as well. <laughs> They also had the Diffenbachia, some Peace Lilies, Syngoniums, all different kinds of Crotons. In the Wick and Grow, they also had some Ivies and Begonias. And here's another one, super vibrant leaves, you guys. Really pretty, though. That, like, reddish-pink color was really nice on those leaves. And then up top, they had some more hanging baskets. They had some of your lipstick plant varieties. Here, just taking another look at the other side of the Wick and Grows. Trying to see if I see anything new in here. And I spotted a Manjula, you guys. Super variegated. Not a whole lot of green on there, but a couple of yellow leaves, but healthy. And then here is another waffle plant. I don't know if that one was called like the Snow White or Snow something. And here I'm trying to shake off that dead leaf on here. But this is a Dracinia. Love the striping and the coloring on those leaves. Super pretty. They had your Tratoscanthia baby bunny bellies. Some Marble Queens, Golden Pothos, some more Syngonium. Some fern, rabbit foot ferns, lots of hanging baskets of the Curtizii and the pearls and jade. If you're looking for any of those, you guys. They also had these cute peperomias in the Wick and Grow a section. These are the smaller pots. And they also had this Aglionema Maria, not Aglionema, Syngonium Maria. Very bright red leaves when they first emerge, I believe. And then they fade out to that more like chocolatey color. And over here, they had some more hanging baskets of ferns, that variegated lipstick plant. And then here, they had a couple live trend plants. I don't know if this plant is a crawler or a climber, but I just love the look of those leaves. Every time I see this plant, I pick it up and I give her a look, but I don't know if I have any room for her in my collection, as well as this Anthurium. It's like, I don't know, calling my name, I feel like. <laughs> I would like to see what that Anthurium grows out to be before I decide to purchase her. So, yeah. Hopefully they still have it <laughs> if I decide to purchase her. And look at these beautiful Aglonemas here. So striking. The white is like a creamy white 
bright. I don't know. It's just really beautiful, you guys. That's a beautiful Aglionema if you're looking for it. They also had your Calatheas, Peace Lilies, Sansevierias, some more ferns down there, and Dracinias. And here is that plant again, you guys. I definitely recommend this plant. The texture on it is so nice. Yes, she can be a little bit of a diva, but I think you can grow her if you can grow a peace lily or an aglionema. You can definitely grow that plant. And then here they had your Haworthias and Sansevierias, some really cute air plants, some more live trends in here. I had your alocasia polys, some maranthas, philodendrons, and sansevierias. Some more air plants down there. And then on this shelf, they had just some sprayers and some more haworthias or aloes. I'm not sure. These pots are really cute with the strappy leather hangers. They had some more plants over here. I am loving the terracotta in white and the terracotta on terracotta, glazed and not glazed. And this plant is super cute as well. Even this like creamy tan pot I've been loving. Yeah, urban juggles and live trends with their pots. Beautiful. And look at this. I think this is a Diffenbachia. I'm not sure with that like white stripe down the middle. Really nice. They had these African violets here like in the dark, you guys. Some of these leaves though on these African violets were like ginormous. A lot bigger than I'm used to seeing on the African violets that they carry. But most of them did not look very happy. All the blooms were like dying and stuff, but I'm um, sure they're still healthy. And I just really like this pot here. I was taking a look to see if I wanted to plant enough to warrant buying the pot <laughs> with it. I don't know. I just really like those. Maybe when they go on clearance. <laughs> I can snag one up. I don't know. Really cute pots up top here with your marantas and all of your beautiful trailing plants. They had your philodendron Brazil, your neon, your golden pothos marble queen. They had the micans, some more marantas, neon pothos, your, did I say philodendron Brazil? And here, Look, you guys, the Epipremnum Albo variegated. Oh, not doing well in the store either. <laughs> and here are a bunch of large floor plants. They had one of those rattlesnake calatheas, sansevierias, lots of peace lilies, and of course, your Marantas, Aglionemas, some Golden Cothos in there. And I think I may have skipped this table, but they had the Skindapsis Moonlight, I believe. The Argerius Adansonii. Sorry. <laughs> some money trees and here they have a bunch of cacti and succulents and then it looked like somebody stuck these here these are two alocasias this one here is i believe the uh, green alocasia Oh, what is she called? I can't think of the name, you guys, right now, but 
That leaf looks like totally yellow. I guess they come in that way if they're totally in the dark. So maybe that leaf unfurled in the box. And it will gradually gain its darker color. And then I am not sure what variety this one is either, you guys. But they both didn't look very happy. This one, though, the leaves were so dark. I believe I have this one in my collection already. So I really don't need to pick it up. <laughs> but those leaves were like calling my name. I really like the dark leaves on that. Alocasia. And here are some more cacti. Just giving you guys a little glimpse here. They had another um, live trends little cart thing here. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed this video.